This is tutorial number 44, and it covers how to create an exploded view within SOLIDWORKS. For this tutorial, let's open up the TV remote, which is found on the DVD. Now, to make an exploded view of this part, pretty much what we're going to do is change the distance between each part in the assembly, and we're able to see all the components that go into the assembly, and we're able to see them at a distance from one another and how they come together. So to start off, let's click the Configuration Manager and right-click Default and click New Exploded View. So now we're able to create an exploded view of the part. So to start off, let's click the button. And with these arrows, we're able to explode it in any of these axes. So we want to explode it up the green one. So you can see the axis in the bottom corner here. So we're putting it up the Y axis. And let's make the distance 200 millimeters. Click apply to see it. And as you can see, it's in the wrong direction. So we have to click the reverse direction. And now it's going up. Click done to accept it. And now let's explode the top part. Let's click it. Click the green arrow. Let's change the distance to 150 millimeters. Click apply. Click done. And now let's get the infrared part. Let's click it and let's make it go along the blue axis. Click apply and that's the wrong direction. Let's change the direction and click done. So now this is going to be our exploded view of the TV remote. Now let's click OK. And when you open it up, you can see the exploded view. Every time you double click on it, it explodes it and it collapses it. Now when you right click on it, you can see the animated explode. So let's click it. And you're able to see an animation of the exploded view. You're able to make it a loop or go back and forth. So let's make it go back and forth and let's make it go two times as fast. Let's click play. And it's just showing it explode and come back together. Now let's close this. So now in our views, we can either go back to the assembly of all the parts and it can be in the exploded view still, or when we go back to configuration, we can double click on it and collapse it. So that concludes our tutorial on the exploded view within SOLIDWORKS.